Hi everybody, I hope you're all okay today. Um, we're going to be using monoprinting this afternoon. I have got some recycling ready. I've made a little workstation. I've had a lot of attempts myself at first because it has been rather... <laughs> it's, it's a funny thing is monoprinting. You have to basically do a lot of attempts to get something that looks like anything. But that's okay. Um, so... A monoprint is basically a one-off print, um, and you can use, um, you can get, if you're going to do this properly, you can get um, block printing inks for this, or you can look, you can use um, acrylic paint like I am, or you can use um, a poster paint. Each one will have a slightly different look. I'm just trying to make this look really focused. Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, each one will have a slightly different look. Um, but that's fine. So I'm going to do um, some things using a bit of recycling. So I'm going to use this plastic bag to create a print. I'm going to use this plastic tray. You can use anything that's um, got a shiny surface. You could use, um, a, the, you, know, you can use those plastic wallets. You can use, um, you could use a, a big tray of any sort really. Um, anything that's got a shiny, shiny bit. Um, so. But yeah, plastic bags obviously are very, very easy and you can wash them afterwards so that you can use them again. You can also, um, you, I'm going to have a go with using just other bits of recycling to create some patterns with for my print. To begin with, I'll just show you what a monoprint is. Um, I've got lots of just like sort of quite scrappy bits of paper that I got from a big roll that I got at Asda. Um, you could use any paper, printer paper, anything that you've got at home will work. I'm just going to use a paintbrush for this and some um, of my, the, some acrylic paint. I'm just going to draw some shapes to begin with. So I'm just going to draw some circles on here. On the back of the plastic bag that I've, I've cut this up. Okay. And then my first one, I'm going to take a piece of paper and put it here. And I'm just going to lie that on top of my paper and I'm going to go with my hand just rub over the back okay. there you go. so that's my first one I could repeat that I could go over the top of it or I just move it slightly and go over again yeah you can see every time you do it I'm kind of creating like a bubble effect now. Every time you do it, the it gets paler because the ink or the paint gets less on the bag. So there, I've created quite a nice patterned effect there. I can then, so I've got my plastic bag still there, I'm going to use the lighter blue. I'm just going to do some spots on it, okay? And then I'm going to put those on top. Now because I've got the more paint you basically put on, like I did quite a lot of paint there, so they'll, these will look well, these will be quite like squishy. Um, they'll, 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 the, the paint will spread out, um, but the more times you do it, the more, um, the less paint you're putting on. So, so yeah, you can, you see how easy that is to create just quite an abstract patterned piece you know you could have I could then um, wash this and I could I could have drawn something more you know perfect on it I could have had a go you know drawing a I don't know a face or an eye or what, whatever you want to do but I think patterns sometimes are just a quite simple place to start my next one I'm going to do so acrylic paints are quite nice because they dry um, and then you don't have to wash them it, you can just paint on top of it um, with like poster paint you always have to wash it every time um, the next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint onto here now okay so I'm just going to do something like that and then put some darker blue bits in
create some like the closer you look, the lines are really nice. So um and every why why it's a monoprint is every single time you do it, even if I do you know I did that again, every single print is gonna look slightly different. Um it's a really good way of creating loads and loads of work really fast. I'll do a ghost of this now, so this might not look like anything, but sometimes if you do a second one of the same thing, you create like a paler version. This is really pale, so yeah, you can see it's, it's barely really work, but it still creates kind of a nice effect. I might use that again in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to have a go with some of the recycling. So what I'll do is I'm just going to put a really thin, I'm using a sponge for this, a thin layer of paint over the whole thing. You don't want much paint on here at all. A roller, if you, are, if you had a roller for this, I'll put a link to one when I send this video, but um, a roller makes it look, it kind of evens it out, whereas with a paintbrush and sponge, you're kind of having to make it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna make some patterns into this now. So I'll push that into there. You never know as well how these things are gonna look, which is part of, part of the joy. Mm. Uh, if you can kind of let it go that it might not look anything like you think it's gonna look. Um, and you know, I've done this, I do monoprinting quite a lot and I use them usually as backgrounds for other things, backgrounds for painting. Um, okay, so we'll have a go at that. It's really pale. You can see the lines there. So I might do that again. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on. You see what I mean? Like you think, you think you've um, you've got the level right, and you don't. Um, but it's fine because you can just keep keep going, keep working on top. It's very relaxing. Okay. So now what I'll do this time is I'm going to just draw on the back of here. I'm going to use the back of this pen. To just draw some circles on do this with a pencil and then you'll be able to actually see what you've drawn but um, I'm not, not being as organised as I thought. It's quite interesting. Okay, so I'm like literally ended up just circles seems to be my theme today. I think that's, that's fine. I'm going to turn it back over and I'm going to use maybe these small circles here. Yeah. I'm just going to push that in. And so you can see that it's picking up some of the sort of smaller circles underneath. Um, and then finally, I'm just going to put in some darker blue circles like this. I'll do it on the same same piece, just stroke my hand really gently across and that will add in again. Yeah, so we've gone very abstract but I hope that um, you know you can see here <coughs> how you can end up with tons and tons of stuff for sketchbooks that is just part of a process, learning about printing, learning about how to, um, how to create an image by taking things away and adding things in. Um, so give it a go. Um, please feel free to share anything that you've done that you like or just to be like, this is really out of my comfort zone and I've not enjoyed it. <laughs> I think that um, it's, it's not for everyone, but it's a really great thing for teachers to learn about um, the ease of it so you can let children play with it a little bit more. Um, yeah, enjoy it. Thank you.